All right, this is the Federation of Global Merchants, and uh, coming back to you with another video. This video is about why it's a bad idea to um, do drop shipping from China. This is part, uh, I know I messed up on the videos, but this is part nine, actually, and I'll put it up as part eight. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to do that. Um, hang on for just a minute here. Ah, hang on for just a minute. <laughs> Hang on. All right, that's a lot better. Now, um, let's go on to this article that I want to read to you, the ninth part of this article. <clears throat> All right. It says, uh, this is the last part. So it says, nobody needs your business. The end game for most of us in e-commerce is to start a small, just to start a business, grow it profitably and sustainably, and eventually sell it. And maybe some of us like to do it the same thing over and over again. Surely that's not just me, right? Now he goes on to say, um, maybe you just want to sell for sell it for a million dollars and move to a secluded beach house on an island in the Caribbean. Well, if your business is a drop ship drop ship site selling from China, that's likely not going to happen. That's likely not going to happen. Um, E-commerce businesses are brought and brought and sold all the time. I even help connect people looking to buy them with people looking to sell them. The solid rule of thumb is that you expect to sell an online business for roughly 1.2 times to 1.8 times the earnings multiple. Now that you are, now there are many factors that go into business valuation and that you are shared in the future post. That will be shared in the future post, but you can, but I can tell you that there are, there is no way that you ever get, you even get a valuation near that for a dropshipping site using AliExpress or Bureau, mm -hmm. and that's true. You know, you don't actually own any stock inventory or in warehousing or anything like that. So, um, goes on to say, I'll give you. Yeah, you're just gonna say you pretty much won't have any. You won't be able to sell it for the amount that you want. So, it goes on to say they aren't worth the time time to take on as they are not sustainable in the long term. And they are a house of cards waiting to come crashing down to nothing. Many people who look to look to acquire businesses feel the same way. And these drop shipping business are the most difficult to find a buyer for these days. <clears throat> I talk to lots of brokers on a regular basis trying to sell these sites and people who try to build them will often try to flip them to some unsuspecting buyer who doesn't know any better. It's very unfortunate for people to invest their hard-earned money into such a, such a business without knowing any better. I know many people have done this, and all I can say is the dude can say do is hand them a tissue for their tears and offer to buy them here to listen to them complain. <clears throat> if only I had read this two-part series before making their investment, maybe it would have saved them a lot of money and time, both of which they could have, have spent building real sustainable e-commerce businesses that would have been selling for real value right now. Fortunately, there are plenty of people who are still far for that snake oil of a dropshipping business thinking that they can take a shot at success since there is no financial investment required. <clears throat> I hope that you listen to me. As for some who has been in e-commerce for, someone has been in the e-commerce business for over 20 years, has actually worked to worked at real e-commerce businesses and had successes building glo global band, band brands with hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue. Realize that your time is time is a financial investment, and every hour you spend less have a dollar amount associated with it. Every spend hour, 
your uh, every hour that's spent has a dollar amount associated with it. And when you feel like you maybe you maybe have more than more than time more more time than dollars available, just remember that you always make more dollars. You only have a few hours, and you can't make more of them. So use them wisely. There are plenty of models that can still be done for a low cost, low or no cost. Building a print on demand brand like we're doing with our ultimate e-commerce OG group is one of those ways. Affiliate marketing is a great way to get involved in learning and to learn a new learn the business and it is essential the exact same thing as dropshipping without any without any of the negatives listed above. But however but however you do don't buy into the drop shipping from China nonsense. It's not worth the risk. And nearly all of these people who try will fail. You are no better than you are better than that and you deserve better for your future. Now let's try now let's let let's launch something real. Okay, that's the end of the article. So yeah, when he says nobody needs your business, basically he's basically saying that nobody really values, you know, a business the business where the products can come from any manufacturer in the world, and that manufacturer can maybe cut you off or maybe change their pricing and totally destroy your business, you know, your website. All you have is a website. You don't actually have anything in stock. And not only do you have anything in stock, but you don't have you know, warehousing or marketing or anything like that. Sometimes with you that, that you have with a um, drop shipping business, so you can't. It's not really considered an asset in a way. You know. So Just trying to read a little bit more here, so let me pull a little bit more out. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I see. I go online. I see a lot of um, people selling drop shipping websites, and they usually go for really low cost. And like I said before, it's because of the fact that they don't carry any, um, they don't carry any inventory, and there's no actual location. Or any type of uh, warehousing or anything like that. So, you know, <clears throat> since you see so many people trying to sell websites that are, you know that are related to drop shipping, you the value of a drop shipping website website actually goes down over time. Unlike uh, you know actual business. So, uh, I just want to uh, you know just to tell you guys or have you guys uh, read this article I'm going to post it like I did in every uh, video so far um, I'll probably start a new another uh, video series uh, next week maybe this week actually later on this week so uh, stay tuned for that be sure to subscribe to our channel like or like or thumbs down a video and be sure to comment if you have any questions just uh, leave in the comment section and I'll try to answer it so uh, that's pretty much it, and uh, thanks.